TNN December 15, 2017, 1024 Istra Gandhi Kanyakumari Congress President-elect Rahul Gandhi has promised to take the demand for a separate ministry for fishing in Parliament so that fishers are taken care of properly during tough times. The Congress leader was addressing the families of missing fishermen and those affected by Cyclone Aki at Chinnathurai, a coastal village in Kanyakumari district, on Thursday after listening to their grievances. This is a tragedy for many people. I spoke to quite a lot of people who lost their brothers and fathers, he said. Every now and then you get a shock of this type when many of you lose your lives. It is my intention to try and help you in whatever way possible, he assured them. He noted that farmers had a ministry but not fishermen and that in such difficult times it was important that fisher folk had a ministry to look into their problems. Congress is not in power in Tamil Nadu or in the country. But as the opposition we will put tremendous pressure in Parliament and in Tamil Nadu to ensure you get justice, he said. Earlier, Rahul began his speech with an apology to fishermen and their families for not visiting them in advance saying it got delayed due to pre-planned election campaigns in Gujarat. State Congress Committee President S. Thiranavukarazard helped translate the grievances shared by the affected women to the AICC president. Meanwhile, hundreds of men and women gathered to narrate their grievances to the Gandhi Sion, of which five women were given an opportunity to come forward. Among them was R. Rebisha, 24 from Thuthor whose father Remyas and brother-in-law X. Antony, 30, perished when a ship hit their boat off Coricode on October 11. The body of Remyas is still missing while Antony died. The family's plight worsened in another perceived double tragedy during the cyclone on November 30th. Rebish's brother Rakesh, 30, and another brother in law Jane, 35, who went fishing are yet to return and it is feared that they too died. Four women and five children in the family are suffering without a male member in the family. We don't know what to do. We don't want the money from the government. We want them to find the missing fishermen and wipe away the tears and sufferings of the families, she pleaded with the Congress president. Our Stella, 51, Afuthor said that her husband Robbie, 55, and twin sons Danny, 27, and Daryl, 27, who went fishing on a mechanized boat with six others on November 21st are missing. Can compensation get back my husband and sons or their love and affection? We want them back. The government should find them, she said sobbing. D. Mini, 40, of Nirodi has lost hope that her son Manoj, 18, the only earning member of the family, is alive. Last week, fishermen found a bag floating with a dead body and found eight mobile phones and the Aadhaar card of my son in it. My husband is a drunkard and it was Manoj who went fishing for the last three years to support the family, she cried. The women made an appeal to Gandhi to help trace these missing men and support the survival of these families. Get latest news live updates on the go on your PC with News app. Download the Times of India News app for your device. Related tech shout.com cars.com actively spe museum refinery 29 only governor leaders who visited families one heart scan yakumari fisher folk give up hope say toll over 200 not 98 now kasalaya trolled by a section of her community